all right guys and so this uh, we're gonna just move on to this last topic real quick since Stephen Dorff was hating on Scarlett Johansson and Black <laughs> Widow we also have some Black Widow news and I hope that this comes true I really do with Black Widow opening up this weekend and we're in kind of at the end of this pandemic there's a lot of speculation going around the online as to how much this movie could possibly make is it going to make 20 million 50 million or even 100 million dollars we're just going to have to see and i have this report right here as well from forbes it says black widow's pessimistic and optimistic box office preview and this was done by scott mendelson and if i go all the way down here i don't want to read this whole thing to you uh but i do want to cover this section right here it says so looking at co the, at a COVID curve and the film being available to lease on disney plus for 30 dollars, we're still likely looking at a domestic debut between 80 million to 110 million dollars this weekend it's possibly mm -hmm. that the film might have played like thor 3 but we'll now have to settle for playing like ant-man 2 during to the current normal but i'd argue about uh, uh i'd argue the above noted triumphs mean that black widow doesn't have to be graded on a heavy COVID curve whatever black widow had would have earned domestically in may 2020 says saying COVID, but amid a crowded marketplace may be close to what it earned july of 2021 with COVID similarly unopposed mm -hmm. give or take repeat business strong mid-july competition and or disney plus and so just for better context guys f9 it opened up a week uh it'll be two weeks before this opens up opened up to 70 million dollars mm -hmm. uh it's opening weekend which is great that's the best opening that we've had since this pandemic they're saying that this can make 85 to even 110 million and i'll go ahead and say that i do agree with that i think that this is going to crack 100 million dollars opening weekend and i'm very very excited about it uh so once a big dog i'm coming to you man how you feeling about this uh black widow box office opening weekend you think it's gonna crack 70 million 80 million 100 million what you think see this i think we talked about this months ago when we we i think we was our uh, first when things first started like happening. a matter of fact i think it was uh maybe just a month ago exactly we were talking about a quiet place too and how it opened up and i was just like okay this this kind of looks good for black widow and the fact that Fans haven't seen a Marvel film in about two years. So they, they, they're dying to get back and see the, that Marvel Studios logo on a big screen. My only thing I do think that's going to hurt this film is that the fact that it comes out on Disney Plus as well. So, but I, I'm still, I'm not going to give it a hundred. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I can necessarily give it a hundred. Maybe I thought I see those, those Thursday night preview numbers. Mm -hmm. Maybe then I might change my tune. But I'm looking at about Eight and nine. Eight and nine. Eight and nine. Okay. Eight and nine. All right. All right. That's what's up. Thank you, my brother. Uh, Elliot, man, how you feeling about this, man? You think it'll yeah. crack 70, 80, 90, or 100 million? What you think? Yeah, no, like Big Dog said, man, just looking at the trend. So just going back to Godzilla versus Kong, which I believe premiered at $30 million, and that was back in March. Fast forward to a couple months ago uh, with The Quiet Place, that opened to $50 million. And now just looking two weeks ago, we're looking at $70 million. But Big Dog hit the nail on the coffin. None of those movies are were playing in our homes at the exact same time. So I think right. like he's right. I think it will take a little bit of a hit because of that. Uh, we say take a bit of a hit. People will still be paying $30 to watch this movie. So they're yeah. going to still make some good money. Uh, but, you know, look at the numbers for WandaVision, Falcon, Winter Soldier, and Loki. They were the higher, they each, no, each show progressively got higher and higher numbers. So I think to that point, I think people will go out to like Big Dog, Big Dog said, last week it made two years since we got an MCU film in theaters, which is Spider-Man Far From Home. So I think the people at home that are watching these shows will go and make their way into theaters to see this film. So to answer your question, I think that this film will make $90 million open the weekend, uh, taking a little bit of 10 million off of that hundred just due to the fact that people will watch it at home. Families that have four or five kids, $30, that's a steal. So they're going to probably mm -hmm. watch it at home. But I think to those fans that have been craving to get back into the theater to see a Marvel film, will come out and support that $90 million box office. Right on. And just real quick, uh, what's interesting is some people that want to see it in theaters are forced to watch it at home on Disney Plus because there are some theaters that have already told Disney, like, hey, we're not going to play your film if you're going to release it on digital at the same time. We have a rule against that. So if you're going to be mm -hmm. doing the same day and day thing, we're just not going to play it. 
And so some people are mad at that and they're like, damn, I want to go see it in my area, but I can't. Yeah. So they have yeah. to do oh. it on Disney Plus. And so that's just quite interesting. So we're going to see. Uh, I think it's going to crack one uh, 100. Bunte Big Dog said 89. And what was your number again, Elliot? Right at 90. I'm right, right at, at 90. 90. Nine, yeah. Oh, a price is right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. 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 88. <laughs> I hate when people do that right there. But guys, that will conclude.